Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. Uh, as part of the plan to uh, prepare for life after the Ukraine war, I cannot let this YouTube you know, channel just become like uh, purely about Ukraine war. Um, we have to go back to uh, covering you know, other news like milit military news, defense news, uh, geopolitical news, or even uh, internal political news. So, uh, so just to start off, um, the R Russia has withdrawn uh, from the Council of Europe and uh, the flag is reportedly you know, uh, lowered uh, in Strasbourg. So as of 16th of March, uh, Russia is no longer the member of Council of Europe. So then curiously, what is Council of Europe? Uh, which I did not have any idea. So it's actually an international organization uh, found after World War II to uphold things that they cannot really uh, enforce effectively. So they have 46 member states. Basically, they are the, the mother or father of uh, the European Union because the European Union also stolen the flag as well as stolen the, the, the anthem, interestingly. So somehow this Council of Europe is also a United Nations observer. I have no idea how this works because isn't the, every country already you know part of United, United Nations so anyway this as far as I am concerned this Council of Europe uh, doesn't look like a, a organization of much point and it's just like it's just like you asking you know your fellow friends and say hey let's form a new gang we shall call the the Council of Europe hood and then and then you know, then we have like a, ooh, we have a gang now, but uh, as far as I uh, I am concerned, this is a pointless organization. Uh, uh, it's more like a place where people just can hang out and chat and spend some money and eat some good food. So just a quick news about this seemingly important yet not very important uh, news about Russia no longer part of the Council of Europe so uh, hope you uh, hope this is a start of uh, more interesting news uh, covering things that is either related or out outside of uh, the Ukraine war uh, and uh, I hope to continue to have your support uh, because the Ukraine war could end anytime and I don't want the YouTube channel to die and I will see you in the next update.